Hi, welcome to Messy Missy Creates. This is Melissa. Um, you're probably saying, hey, you're in the wrong bunny journal. No, I'm not. Um, I'm going to do my first ever flip through. I did not. I still owe you one for January. Um, there was some pages in the end I didn't finish. There's technically some pages in the end of this one I haven't finished too. So, but I have, I know I have the first half of it done. I'm going to do the first half and... I may or may not finish the rest of it. Um, I had committed to myself at the beginning of the year that I was going to try to document at least one thing per day. So I would like to at least stick to that. Um, and, you know, I still have my notes as to what I did. But anyway, so you remember the pink bunnies for February. And I never did, you know, put February or anything on here. I guess I should. I don't know. Anyway, it's right there. Um, this was me trying to make a habit out of my journal. I forgot where I got it. It was in some magazine. But anyway, I just still have all my stuff in here. So, um, yeah, that was a little envelope I made. I guess I, I'll clean it out eventually. But anyway, so for now, let me get you in frame and close enough that you can see everything and okay so here is my this was my first attempt at what I kind of call a sticker planner a uh, monthly view sticker planner something um, some days have more on them than anything you can tell the days that I am lacking and some days I just kind of forgot to do it so I was sitting here a few minutes ago digging through my stickers and it takes me a while to find stickers that I want. Um, I'm not as familiar with what's in each sticker book. So I'm sure that will happen as I go through them more and more and more. So, okay, this is, uh, it's February 1st. Did I not put a date on here? Wow, way to start off. Well, that says February 1st. Well, I'll be darned. I guess I didn't. Anyway, um, maybe I thought since I had this National Ice Cream for Breakfast Day, February 1st, I didn't have to have a number on here. But anyway, I started off, I ended January 6th, and I started off February not feeling well. You know, still not well. So, um, you know, I, I had talked about, I can see glimpses of feeling better, but, you know, still get dizzy and cold sweats when I try to do anything. I know I barely got this video made for this page. This was our first, um, our hour meaning mine and Allison at AJ's Inspired Life. This was our very first of our Inspired to Create um, prompt challenge. We, our word was love and we picked our own prompts. And I pick leaves and oval, and even the oval has leaves in it. Uh, Valentine, oh, and violets, I put that. An envelope, and this was an envelope that I made, and apparently I made a second one. And I don't know why I didn't put a date and a Wednesday on here, but I know it's a Wednesday, because that's the days that we did that. But anyway, this was a card that I had made. Um, well, it's a picture of a card that I had made for, um, one of the people in the nursing home. And I managed to finish loading the dishwasher and run in it, running it before needing to lay down. I think that equated to, uh, like a couple of dishes and that was the extent of my day. I made this video, uh, no, I probably made the video the day before. I'm not sure. Anyway. Um, I did put a number on here, uh, Thursday the 2nd. I, I put, I have no clue if the groundhog saw a shadow or not. I don't really care. I was still not feeling well. I did get out of the bed. I managed to do one load of laundry. It felt good to have clean clothes and get a shower. And I did have, I did decide to go back to PT that day. I had canceled earlier in the week. Um, I was absolutely exhausted. I barely could do anything at PT. And I printed off Brooke's 
recreations by Brooke. I printed off her numbers for February and I cut them with my new brother scan and cut. Still have not mastered that machine yet. It still is kicking my butt. I had a, another appointment on Zoom. Um, didn't write much about that, but um, this says, Forgive it. forgiveness is unlocking the door to set someone free and realizing that you were the prisoner. So, I thought that was fairly profound. Um, this is Friday the 3rd. Obviously, I had Chick-fil-A. I talked on the phone. And I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, it was a stomach bug. Yay. Um, but I had the fatigue and... All of that, but it was not the C word. But my friend came over, and after dropping her daughter off at school, and my husband brought us Chick-fil-A after he, he went and had blood work, and I talked to a lady that I hadn't talked to for a while. She's an older lady that is my plant friend. And anyway, it was nice to, to catch up with her. Uh, my friend came back over after she picked her daughter. Her daughter goes to school right behind my house. And we went to um, our church thrift store, and I got lots of books, like I needed more books. Um, I was able to, I think it was the first time I had gone into a store with using my cane. and Maybe not the first time, but maybe the second time. Anyway, um, yeah. And then we went to a little feed store, and this is a pocket I did not use. I got some lettuce seeds and some other stuff, made a video, and I made this card for my aunt. Yeah, had bees. So anyway, it said happy bee day. Ooh, I think that ambulance is coming in front of my house this time. Okay, so this is the day that I, um, we had my birthday party at my sister's house, and it was mine and my nephew's birthday. We grilled out hamburgers. I have this image from an old, um, Reader's Digest, you know, the little magazines, and I thought that was cute, because it kind of, you know, we don't have that many boys, we have mostly girls, but anyway, I just thought that was cute, and I had started off doing pretty well with the weather, but I did not, that did not last long. Um, this is my sister and my husband got together and there was a lady, a friend of ours, oh, I made suddenly salad. Wasn't feeling real inclined to make anything else, but anyway, um, we have a friend uh, who does cakes. She has a cake business out of her house and we used to get every, all of our family, we used to get every cake from her and she had to stop doing it because her husband um, was really ill for a while. And uh, anyway, so we, it's been several years since we've had her cakes and they got together and she made, made my birthday cake. So it was very good. That was very sweet. And I, oh, <laughs> this is me, and I put a little ribbon around my neck that I socialized. Pretending I'm a pleasant person is exhausting. It's not really, but sometimes it is. Okay, so Sunday the 5th, uh, we went to AT&T after church. I got the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I had been struggling with my other phone and it was time. I wasn't going to get that one, but they had a deal, and you know how that goes. Um, we tried a restaurant right next to there called Fusackley's. I think it's a chain, but I don't know. Anyway, it's it's been open here for a little while, but that's the first time we've had it, and it was pretty good, and then we came home, and I just got this image. I love this um, kind of a garden image or tropical, whatever, out of a magazine and I put into the garden I go to lose my mind and find my soul. And so that is my happy place, um, especially when it's a high of 65. It's very nice out. So, okay, so Monday the 6th, my niece came and that means trash bags and organizational images. So, um, and she runs my big vacuum. So, and it's not that big, but Oh, that actually is a Bissell carpet cleaner, but we won't get specific. 
Anyway, we took out lots of trash. We had Burger King. She brought breakfast from Burger King. Um, eating a lot of crap these days, but that's okay. We worked all day into the night. We got so much done. Um, we moved all of my canned goods and all of my canning stuff to my front room, which used to be my craft room. And we've been slowly moving that and moving other stuff into it. Um, it gets too hot in that room and I wasn't able to work in there. So that's part of the reason. Anyway, long story. But this is a picture of the one shelf and I have my all of my old rings on a string. I've stringed my rings and I put, I feel legit now. I don't have that many canned goods yet. I was able to can some last year, but only on a small scale. Um, it was just very hard for me to maneuver the big canner and, you know, to carry it and do all the things that I need it to do. So I have hopes of this year being able to do much more. Um, wow, this is busy. The busy page. Did the polka dots. You know, I had seen um, Rebecca Hoot do this. And I think I probably told you that when I made that video. And um, all the lines in between, like doing polka dots and a way to fill in backgrounds without having a solid color. So, um, my friend, let's see. Okay, I was thinking that was a flip up, but it's not. Uh, oh, I hit 300 subscribers today. I was very tickled. Um, my friend Cheryl picked me up and we had lunch at Cracker Barrel. And we went to, we tried to visit some of our people in one of the assisted living facilities, I think. And I don't think we could quite make that happen for some reason anyway. So we went to Aldi. We haven't had an Aldi's very long, but um, I got to go in there and go grocery shopping and the two of us in our chairs, um, we, we make a little bit of a spectacle of ourselves, I'm sure. But anyway, not on purpose, but, oh, this was a bunny. It looks like a peep. Yeah, it is peeps. Uh, pancake skillet. Um, everybody needs a bunny sized pancake, right? Um, we... Oh, yeah, we went to um, the other facility, and I think we just struck out all the way around. Um, the one gentleman we went to go see that I had made the card for, he was not there, so I'm hoping that he went back. I was hoping that he went back home. Um, it was like a rehab facility, so it was supposed to be temporary. I Oh, this is our second challenge, Cupid, our week two prompt challenge. I did this video today. It was very challenging. Um, this is when we we swapped prompts, not physical prompts, but she told me what to use and I told her what to use, that sort of thing. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. But I used the remnants of, if you remember, I did a door and I cut the inside out. And this was the picture from the inside. And so I thought that was kind of cool. So, um, and this lady, she reminds me of Jenny Mano, I think. I don't know if any of you have ever watched her, but... Anyway, this was on that crayon magazine clipping. Um, but Cupid was the word that we used. And, yeah, Cupid. This was my, what I did for my prompt. I did it more art journal style. Um, and I, my theme kind of was create your own universe. Um, my prompts were crayon, universe, pattern, ingredients, and door. So you can barely see my ingredients. This is a recipe um, out of a recipe book. And here's my door. It's open. And I use stamps and kind of a white pigment ink to make the universe. And um, I use the crayons or I guess they're actual colored pencils. But anyway, close enough. Um, so that was my, my page for that week two of February. And I had an appointment. Um, let's see. All right. Anyway, that's probably not important. I, let's see. Oh, decided to try the month view calendar in my journal this month. I filmed making this today. And though it's basic so far, I see so much potential for fun creativity. Um, and then I talked about the aphids have taken up residence in the greenhouse. 
Um, I put some of the infested plants outside and attracted the first bird, first the birds, and then the um, then the ladybug bugs. So, and the ladybugs they're like hoovers. Aphids are really tiny, but anyway, the ladybugs love them. So this is the ninth. Um, I had a neurology appointment and then we left town. And this was our little road trip. This little Polaroid frame was from um, a die cut that I had gotten for my birthday. I packed my backpack full of supplies. We were going for two or three days. Um, anyway, I saw the neurologist before we left town. Good visit. Um, we talked about neuropathy and some other stuff. Shorter blood work, blah, blah, blah. We talked about me driving. She ordered, did re-up my PT and a driving evaluation, which I still have not done yet. Um, not going to pursue UAB. Oh, she had been trying to send me for some testing because of what happened to me. Um, and the unknown of it. And we had been trying for the last year to get me into some sort of research program at UAB and she decided that unless they, you know, happened to call me that we weren't going to pursue that at this point. So I was kind of sad and kind of glad, I'll, you know, I mean, I've got, you know, mixed emotions about it because I would like to understand fully what happened, but yet I'm done with tests. I have been put through so many tests. It's not even funny. Um, this is my husband and that silly little grin on his face. Um, we headed over to Mississippi. We stopped at one place that we liked to go up in the parking garage and look at the boats in the marina, but they were gone. I mean, not one boat. So I don't know what happened to that was there. We like to go up on that, um, at the Hard Rock. We like to go up in the parking garage and look at all the boats. And depending on what time of the year, um, this is kind of a pass right out here. So it's where all the boats go out and they shrimp and all the shrimpers and all the, you know, everybody. Anyway, we went to, um, we stayed at one of the resorts and we had a good time. It's a really nice resort. And I always take a, ever since all this happened, um, I take a picture of the bathroom. We got the handicap accessible room and I have the room number on the, this is the envelope. And they let me keep my room key because it was so pretty. It looked like their carpet. Um, but I know the next time if we go again, I know that I can get in that shower. Because there's been some of these rooms that I haven't been able to take a shower because I just couldn't get in it. So I, that's becoming less and less of a thing the better I get. But anyway, so I tried a new drink. I don't drink, but like once a year, maybe twice. Um... But, you know, we just kind of go and let our hair down, right? Found my favorite machine and met a friend right off the bat. My husband likes to play some of the card games. And this one machine is my favorite. And I really don't stray from it. So, but I met um, a lady that was sitting right next to me. And she was even staying the same length of time. Her husband was doing the same thing. And we were staying on the same floor. So, I had my little slot machine buddy. And this is, I think, the day that we left. Um, I, I took a picture of their cashier. It, it's rounded, and it looks, it reminds me of like a 60s, 70s um, movie theater. Maybe we had a movie theater that had the front that looked like that. I don't know. It just reminds me of that. Um, they had a little free slot tournament. You don't pay any money. You don't win any money. I mean, unless you, like, win overall, but... Anyway, it was just fun. You do it for like three minutes. You hit a button as fast as you can. And he beat me and that was all that mattered. And so um, I, w I had seen Allison while I was here. I had seen her um, do a video about taking pictures of the carpet where they were. And so I started noticing the carpet in this casino and or in this resort. And this paper back here is um, paper that I had like a paint uh, collage, paint collage, whatever background. Um, anyway, I scanned it and took a picture of, or made a copy of it. And it reminded me of the floor in here. And I took a picture 
Um, I have been doing the where I stand or actually where I sit Wednesdays sometimes if I'm in my chair. And so I take a picture of my feet and the floor around me. And here was another picture of the carpet. They had the most beautiful carpet. So anyway, we cashed in, you know, we pretty much broke even. It was fun. We had free room, free food, all the things. Um, did I skip? I did skip a day. Okay, I knew that was too quick. This was my actual birthday. And so he was playing cards and this is what he won on one hand. And um, this was another little die cut of us in front of, um, in a picture in front of that little, that tree, that two story tall tree that they had decorated for Mardi Gras. So um, everything was all decked out Mardi Gras. But um, we comped, oh, he won $200 in free play, just some random drawing they were doing. Um, we ate for free. And, oh, the pit boss where he was playing cards um, for my birthday comp comped us a steak dinner at Prime Cut, which is like their really nice steak steakhouse. So that was really sweet. And um, anyway, we had a good time. I thought this mask was creepy. So, um, oh, my machine paid early. I got 50 free spins for my birthday right off the bat. So... That gave me money to play on all day. I was happy. Um, I don't go to win. I just go to, just let me win enough just to let me play. And then I'm happy. So anyway, on the back to this page, on the, we're headed home. And the visitor center at, I think it's coming into Alabama from Mississippi. Yeah, must have been. Um, anyway, the Alabama Visitor Center is one of the prettiest that you'll ever see. And on the floor, it's that, I don't know if it's granite or whatever the floor is made of, but they have mahi-mahi and red snapper. Is that red snapper, redfish, red snapper. And sharks. So I was still, you know, taking pictures of the floor. And then when we came home, my father-in-law had made a mailbox sign and actually hung it for my birthday. So I thought that was so sweet. He had been, he officially retired finally at, what, 84, I think he is. And he started, he used to do some woodwork stuff. And so, a long time ago. And so, he made um, this sign for me to go over my mailbox. So, I thought that was really sweet. Um, we're getting home, and I'm not feeling good. And it's like, here we go again. I have chills, but no fever. My blood pressure was really high. It's the highest it's ever been. And I told him, I just need to go and lay down. I thought it was just because my blood pressure was high. And so I went and I went to bed early. Get home. I mean, get up the next morning. I thought I felt better. We went to Sunday school. And after that, I knew I couldn't stay for church. And we came straight home, and I crashed. My fever shot up to 102.7. This was Super Bowl Sunday, and that's all I put on there about that because that was it. I I didn't even know it was on. I think he came in a couple times. That's usually something we'd watch together. Whether we care about who's in it or not, we would still watch it. And I couldn't. He came in. I vaguely remember him coming in a couple times. And, and I mean, when I say I crashed, I came home and I laid down at probably 12 in the afternoon and I didn't get up until like Tuesday. So, um, I think I do remember him coming in to tell me who won, but I wasn't even coherent enough to, I still don't know who won. Um, this is still, okay, so this is what you do when your days are filled with absolutely nothing but Dayquil and or Advil, or whatever it is that you're taking. And this was a little drawing I did when I first got sick a couple of years ago, which led to the paralysis. And um, I had done this on a digital, um, on my iPad. And um, let's see, it was so sick, fever aches, can't get out of bed. He checks on me and I take meds and crash again. Um, fever staying between 102, 103. So I was a sick, sick puppy. 
So, Valentine's, yeah, that didn't even, I didn't even think about getting out of bed. Didn't even know I existed. Um, he came in a couple times. He works right down the street, so he's able to come back and forth a couple times a day. Um, I do remember, I think, I don't know if it was lunch or afternoon or whenever he came home from work. I don't remember. I do remember he brought me some candy and a little stuffed bunny. And... Um, eventually I made him a card, but not that day. So I was sticking down everything that I have from my Valentine's clip art and all the washi and all the things because we didn't do anything. Oh, this was, um, from Recreations by Brooke. I think this is an old pocket journal, Pam, um, from a couple of years ago, but I love it. I thought that was so cute. Um, this one says, this Valentine's Day, I'm going to enjoy long romantic walks to the fridge. Yeah, and I said to get fluids. I don't even know that I did that. Um, I think he brought them to me. Um, let's see. I'm going to do, I'll do through this one. And, um, and then stop. Um, this is the 15th, which actually the 14th is halfway through February. If I, anyway, but... Still so sick. Um, he finally called the doctor, and the doctor said it sounds viral to do this, that, and that, and the other, and uh, all the whatever. And then I want to say that my, I don't know if my fever had actually broke. I don't think it did. I remembered eating some applesauce. I think that was like the first thing I had eaten. Anyway, somewhere in there, then comes the stomach thing again. And so after having a fever for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, this was my day four of my fever. Then comes the, the stomach part of this. What I'm assuming it was the flu. I was too sick to go get tested. I did test for the other thing, and that's not what it was. But anyway, so my husband had picked my prompts early on, and I could not make myself film I could not get out of bed to film before Wednesday. So my video was late that day. But I did get up and film it at some point on Wednesday. And then I went right back to bed. But he had picked, um, I don't even have my, oh yeah, I do right here. Um, the word was date. And we thought that was sweet, you know, having our husbands pick it on Valentine's week. And um, he picked dauber, apple, tree, and elephant. So he did, he did pretty good. So I had this tree and then I just, I have a video on it. If you want to go back and see it, um, it's in the playlist for the inspired to create playlist on my channel. Um, this little elephant I got out of a, um, and, and this little boy on the tree swing, um, I got out of an old kid's book and I just kind of did, I think I used the dauber to make the tree. And then I had the apple, I had an apple die cut, um, or a die, and so I cut out some red apples, and that was, um, oh, I used the blue dauber for the background, like the sky, and that was all I could muster for that week, so, anyway, that was, well, that was a little more than halfway, but anyway, so this was my first flip through ever. And maybe one day I'll get to backtrack and do January. Um, I might just because um, keep myself accountable for what I'm trying to achieve this year. And then hopefully in the next couple of days I can get the, the next half of this finished enough that it's all done except for the writing. And I guess I could go ahead and flip it for you, but um, I, I'm going to try to actually finish it. But anyway... So, I will, um, I'm going to end there, and that didn't take too long. Wow, only a 30-minute video. Wow. Um, but that was fun. Well, it was fun for me. I don't know if it was fun for you, but, um, I'll try to link everybody that I mentioned. And I don't remember all of my days. Um, I know I mentioned Recreations by Book. I know I mentioned Pocket Journal Pam. Because if I'm going to use... This was where I tried to start doing my own numbers. And these are, I, I die cut those, five, that five. But um, some of, 
Like, this was definitely, I say definitely, this was Brooks, Numbers, Printables. I'm not going to tell you because I can't remember. Um, they either come from Brook or Pocket Journal Pam, and some of them I can remember, and some of them I can't. I know that those numbers came from Brook, but I think like this, I think this was Pocket Journal Pam, and, um, but I'll link both of them, and, um, I know Pocket Journal Pam has an Etsy and a YouTube, not Etsy, um, Etsy and a Patreon, and I used to be a Patreon. I'm not Patreon of anybody, right? Well, I am one art and one card maker, but nobody journal wise. And yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else that I might have used of theirs. Um, the shopping cart, I do believe that's Brooks. And I don't see, I don't remember, I think, I'm not going to say because I don't remember. But anyway, they both are very, very creative, and they both do great work, a great art. Um, Brooke has an Etsy shop and a YouTube channel. And see, there's more of the printables. But um, a lot of them I've cut up. They're from, some of them are from a couple years ago, and I've cut up, and they're just in an envelope. So I don't still have them. Like, that was Pam's. I do remember that, that little house. Um, but I have them cut up already, and so they're not attached to the piece of paper that had the name on them. So, anyway, um, I know that was Pam's. I think that was Pam's, and I, I know this is Brooks, but other than that, I can't remember. Can't remember... But anyway, well, thank you for watching, and I appreciate you being here, and welcome if you're new. I should have said that in the beginning, and um, most of this was videoed except when I was sick, and actually, I videoed it afterwards. Um, I know I did one that said what to journal when you have nothing to journal, um, sick days, and um, if you're interested, you haven't watched any of those, you can go back in my journal with me playlist and catch most of it. Where I, where I made these pages or put these pages together. So I appreciate your time and I appreciate you spending your time with me. And I appreciate all your comments and all your support and all your love and prayers and everything, all the things. So you have a great day and I will talk to you soon. See you on the next page. Bye.